Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Bobby Boss Silvana. So I'm going to start off by just showing you guys like the cap construction and everything like that. And then I'm just going to quickly show you guys that I did tweeze the hairline. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but this is a 13 by 4 uh, kind of wig. So you can customize it if you would like. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I do that and then we'll get into the review. And you guys saw how I tweezed the hairline on this wig. Um, this is Silvana. I wanted this wig because last year I saw Dominique A review this and she just made it look so beautiful and glamorous. Um, but last year, around this time when she, you know, reviewed it, it was sold out everywhere. It's, it just looked amazing on her. So I knew why it was sold out because she just made it look so good. So. Finally, a year later, after all the hype has died down, it's available on certain sites. Um, so that's why I requested it from Hair So Fly. So what I did was, you guys saw how I tweezed the hairline to make it look more natural um, and not so thick. Um, Savannah is a 13 by four wig, so it's not going to be ear. It is ear to ear. Um, yeah, it's a 13 by four wig, so it is ear to ear, but you don't have that deep 13 by six area as you would with like the Sensational Wet Lace Collection, but you don't need like tons of, you know, part of the space to make your wig look natural. It says it has a seamless finish and it blends perfectly. So, let's see how she's looking today. I do have on a black wig grip. You guys have seen, if you haven't already, I did review the lace wig grip version where it has lace um, on a specific spot, but I can't find mine. Like, I t I'm telling you, I lose my wig grips all the time. I don't lose them, they, I just misplace them because I'm sure it's like under my bed or something. Probably just fell off my bed when I was sleeping or something. So we shall see. Let's see if I want to wear it as a flip over or if I want to The lace on this is brown lace. So for my brown girls, this is going to be a good lace color for you. This is already giving me what I need. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to just um apply this down because I'm probably going to wear this today. I'm going to an 80s, um, 90s party for my sister-in-law and I'm going with Mary J's look from like the real love era and her hair was not like this but I'm probably still going to wear this wig anyway. We shall see. I think my edges are going to be sticking out. That happens a lot. It's like it's a uh, small to medium it's no it's a medium cap it's an average size cap it's not gonna be all the way ear to ear it's slightly above it Somebody asked me how do you prevent getting got to be glued on the actual hair I still get it on mine especially when I'm spraying on top of the lace but you can just 
take a baby wipe and just wipe it out of the hair so it doesn't get too stiff. Know for sure that the tabs are not gonna stick down with just the spray so I think I'm gonna use the the black bottle and just put some on the ear tabs. All right guys, so I have finally finished styling Silvana and I took some pictures and she is really, really pretty. This is the length. I think she is about 20 inches long. I'm six feet tall and this is where she falls on me. She has a nice medium density. Um, I like this texture a lot. It is a yakky texture. Um, I really love that. So the luster of it is going to be very, very natural because it is a yakky texture. Um, I have some shedding, but I did tweeze the hairline. Um, tangling, I do have some tangling with this wig already, but it's, it's so pretty. I don't really care that much about it. I just won't wear it all the time or I'll just carry a paddle brush with me. I did tweeze too much over here, but that's why I did that little swoop action right there, but it's not, it doesn't look bad. This, it has like a gorgeous bang that you can, you know, do the pushback thing and then, you know, bring it forward to give it a feathered look. She's really, really pretty, has a nice volume, nice layers. The cap size to me, it's comfortable. I'm gonna say average cap. It doesn't feel too tight on my head, but it's, you can tell I don't have like a, a lot of extra room, but it's not small to me. So this is what it looks like as a side part. I'll try to see what it looks like as a middle part. Oh, and this, um, I'm, this one has more barrel, cur barrel curls than Morgan. Morgan is pretty much straight, but they seem kind of similar when it's in a black color like this. I do have some flyaways kind of in the back where it's like shorter hairs that are kind of like filler hairs.
it to a middle part and actually I like it more as a middle part it's wild it looks really really good so I decided to put some heat at the top just so it would lay really flat and this looks really pretty I really like Silvana I'm super late but better late than never this is really really pretty the texture is beautiful um, I just like it all around. I really do. Actually, I think I'm... I try not to give wigs 10s because all wigs aren't perfect. The last 10 I gave was Sensational's Rainmaker. Um, I'm going to give this a 10. I like the texture. I like the style. I like that it's not too heavy. You can give it more volume if you just fluffed it out a little bit more, but even if you don't, it's still very pretty. It looks good as a side part and as a center part. I did tweeze the hairline and stuff, but you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to. You can, it gives you enough space to customize it if you want to and add baby hairs. This is a beautiful wig. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10. I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going to give it a 10. So if you are interested in Silvana, head over to Hair Soul Fly and pick it up there. If there are any questions that I left out of this video that you would like to know, just list them down below and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Shout out to my Premiere Squad for watching this video. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so you'll know every time that I do another upload. And most videos I've been doing lately, I've been premiering them with you guys so I can interact with you and I've been really enjoying doing that. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. And before we leave, I wanted to show you guys that I did wear Savannah to an 80s, 90s party. And she just looked so good. I wore it with a fitted cap I found on Amazon. And if you like this look, I'll try to put the jersey and the hat in the description box for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.